for more, let me bring you. in Jonathan Alter. He's he's a national affair columnist for Newsweek and an MSNBC political analyst. Jonathan, other than uh, being a loathsome thing, thing to do, mm -hmm. this demagoguery seems like it's in the long term a really bad political strategy, doesn't it? Absolutely. I think you made a great point in your. Uh opening uh, commentary, Cenk. I mean, this is a disaster for the Republican Party in the middle and the long term. So they could uh, take back the Congress or more likely just the House of Representatives and have a really terrific 2010 politically, uh, but they're cutting off their noses to spite their face. Uh, this just is not going to work for them long term. Demography is destiny and it is stacked against them right now in this country. You know, John McCain did about as well with white voters as Ronald Reagan did. Look how much worse he did in the presidential election. The face of America is changing. Uh, states like Michigan, where you have a lot of um, Arab American voters, are moving out of range for the Republican Party over time. Now, it's true that in the short run, uh, the economy will trump all of these things and could bring good times for Republicans. But again, in the medium and long term, uh, it's uh, a, a recipe for disaster for that once great political party. Jonathan, I don't see any sign that anybody's turning around. I mean, if you've got Specter who goes a little towards the center, or Chris who goes a little towards the center, they immediately get booted out of the party. If they keep going further and further right, just as a matter of if the Democrats went further and further left, which they're nowhere near, in my opinion, any political party, if you go that far, aren't you going to fall off a cliff at some point? Well, what happens is you, you get wiped out and then you reassess. Remember the Democrats in the 1984 election, uh, they nominated Walter Mondale. Uh, he got crushed by Ronald Reagan. And then you had a real reassessment uh, of what the Democratic Party should be um, in, the, uh, in the late 80s. And it moved to the center. And it, it got to a place where it could get Bill Clinton elected. So uh, if the Republicans nominate Palin in 2012 and she gets wiped out, then in 2013 um, they'll reassess whether this crazy uh, move to the far right was really in their interest. All right, Jonathan Alter, thank you so much.